everybody, my name's Casey. Welcome to Solutions from the Scriptures. I had a friend of mine give me a call. His name is Coach. He's married to Marcia. They live on the east side of Orlando. And he said, hey Casey, why don't you um, do a, you know, a teaching or a talk on encouragement? And so uh, as soon as I heard that subject, I said, you know what? I got the right guy in mind. There's a man named Onesiphorus in the New Testament, and he was able to encourage the Apostle Paul. Listen to this. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 16 says, The Lord grant mercy to the house of Anisphorus, for he often refreshed me. Hey, that's pretty cool to be able to encourage the Apostle Paul. And it is amazing to be able to encourage one another. It's especially needed there in these times. It's so easy to get discouraged with all that's going on. Uh, I think the best way to encourage one another is to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Bible gives an amazing contrast between being filled with the Holy Spirit and being controlled by alcohol or wine. Let me read it to you in Ephesians 5.18. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is dissipation, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, after it talks about being filled with the Holy Spirit, it gives us some points as to what it means to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Get this. Speaking to one another in Psalms, and hymns and spiritual songs. There's two things right there, speaking to one another in psalms. The psalms are the scriptures. And in the Old Testament times, the Jewish culture felt that the psalms was their hymn book, their song book. So they would read the scriptures and end up singing after they had been reading. And so that kind of leads from reading to singing to verse 20 says, always giving thanks for all things in the name of the Lord Jesus. And then in verse 21, to be subject to one another in the fear of the Lord. And so reading and singing leads to having um, gratitude in your heart, no matter what the circumstances you're living in might be. And then you'll end up with the ability to support or be subject to one another and to encourage one another. And so that's what it means to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You're able to encourage one another and to, in turn, be encourage yourself. It's the work of the Word of God in your life. When you dive into God's Word, God does a work in your heart through His active Word. The Word does a work in your heart, and then you're able to be encouraging because you've been encouraged by God. And boy, do we need to be like Onesiphorus and take the initiative to be encouraging to one another. And like I said, the only way to really be encouraging uh, truthfully is to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So it takes an initiator, and will you be that initiator for people in their, other, in their lives? I think you can. Matthew 6.33 says to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And if you're seeking God, you're going to be able to have these things in your life. Let me tell you, it takes a friend or a brother or a sister in Christ or somebody to encourage you or somebody else. Proverbs 17, 17 says, A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity, or a brother is born to share hardships in this life. So to be a friend, to be a brother or a sister in Christ to somebody else, means that you're going to help encourage them through hardships. Now, I have this ancient device right here. It's almost unheard of. It's called a pencil. A pencil, yes, it's one of my favorite tools. I love working with a pencil because when you write and you make a mistake, you can just erase it and fix it. Done. But with a pencil, uh, you can take or a pen and write a word of encouragement to someone. It's not a cheap email. It's actually handwritten. And might I encourage you to encourage others with the scriptures. Write out some scripture and uh, mail it uh, to a friend. You know, it might even be worth um, reading the scriptures yourself and diving in and getting a word from the Lord and then therefore kind of forwarding it on to them. So if this has been encouraging to you, maybe you can forward it to somebody else. Thanks for watching.